Ciao a tutti and welcome to Cooking with Nonna. And making me feel inadequate today, I have the ever glamorous Nonna Nina. And before we get started, we're going to take a closer look and see what she's all about. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I lived there till I married at 21. And then I moved to Manhattan and I've lived there ever since. I was the oldest child, then my sister and my brother, and, uh, and in many ways my parents, for instance, wouldn't allow me to do certain things that they allowed my sister to do and my brother to do. My grandmother, who was from Tuscany, uh, Grandma Maria, uh, would come every day, help my mother cook and take care of the three children. And so very early in life, I was eating Tuscan food because that's what my grandmother um, made. She came from Montepulciano. When I was young, I really didn't do much in the kitchen. And then suddenly I was 21, married. Um, my husband was from Italy and used to good cooking. My, my mother-in-law was a wonderful, wonderful cook. And I had to learn how to cook. So I did. And I just went in there and I, I have selective memory. I, I don't remember the big mistakes I made, but I'm sure there were many. And through trial and error, I'd call my mother up, how do you make this? I'd call my mother-in-law up, I, and my grandmother was alive, Grandma, how do you do this? And little by little, I did learn how to cook. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, I wouldn't say, a great chef, but I can cook for a lot of people in a short amount of time, and everyone enjoys it, and nobody gets sick. I feel fortunate that I like to cook, because hopefully, I'll be cooking till the day I die. Today, we're going to make uh, petto di bolla a limone, which means the breast of chicken with lemon with a nice lemon sauce. And what's really unique about this dish is that it kind of fuses southern and northern cooking because in the north you wouldn't typically put citrus on your meat. But in the south they're so abundant and they're so fresh and delicious that it really adds a special touch to this recipe. Okay. So what are we gonna do first? Um, I think the first thing we should make this into an assembly line. So let's first get a little salt and pepper in the, uh, in the flour. So we have our flour yeah, right here. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little yeah. pinch we of say, salt. Yeah, people want to go easy on the salt nowadays, so that gives it a nice flavor. We have some flavor. fresh black pepper. Right. Uh, okay. okay, now we just mix it up. Give that a quick mix yeah. with a fork. Right, so that you spread it evenly. Season the whole flour. That's okay. great. Okay, step two, let's get the two eggs and, uh, and beat them in a bowl. Okay. And we have two eggs. Now you don't have to use whole eggs. We're using whole eggs today, but if you want to make it a little bit healthier, you could just use egg whites. But you do need the egg in some form to act as a binder. And I say that when you're making a special, to me this is a special dish for company, uh, use whole eggs. Why not? You only live once, right? Right. And I say, wait, life is short. Eat dessert first. So we're going to have eggs first. That's enough. That's fine. And the third thing, we're going to take the uh, the breadcrumb, which these are unflavored, but you can use the seasoned. And we're going to add a little uh, Parmesan cheese to that, Rosella. We have fresh Parmesan cheese. Good. Now we just mix that up. Okay, and then we're going to take it from there. Let's take uh, one of the chicken fillets. We have some plain, thinly sliced chicken breasts, and as you can see, most of the fat is trimmed off them. And we're going to start our assembly line, right? Yes. Flour so and then first, egg. You want to dredge this yes. in the flour. Shake it off. Shake off the excess. Now this dish is so easy to make. It's really friendly, it's time friendly. You can make it when you come home from work really late. It, it's really quick to do. And you can make a lot of it at once and freeze it and then just take it out whenever you need it. Instead of fast food, slow food. That's right, and I, a couple of weeks ago I made a whole tray of this um, and I, uh, I froze it. I put tin foil, froze it, and the, the following week I took it out, put it in the oven, for uh, two hours, it heated through, and uh, everybody loved it. Okay, and we are ready oh, to go Ready here. to go, okay. So the next thing, <coughs> the next thing on the agenda, wash your hands, I guess, well, yeah, get rid of that. I bet. Why Should not? I? Oh, well, let's, let's do it. Right. 
And now I'm going to take uh, some vegetable oil and pour it a little bit. And then I'm going to add just a spritz of olive oil. Gives it a nice flavor. Not too much. Uh, and then Rosella is going to light this high-tech stove. She's a high-tech girl. I'm just a nonna. And I just want to explain a little bit. We're not using all olive oil to fry in because olive oil itself has a very low smoking point. And if you start frying things for a very long period of time in olive oil, you're going to run into trouble and you better have fire insurance. And you can see that the olive oil is that nice darker oil, that beautiful dark center. And the corn oil is much lighter. And you want to wait until you see a little bit of action going on in your oil, if you will. And that's how you know that it's ready to receive ready to go. Right. its guests. Okay. We're treating these cutlets like royalty. I have, I have the plate waiting for to put them in. And we're going to hear that nice sizzle. And we're just going to brown these a little bit on either side until they're done though, until they're cooked through. Until they're beautifully golden brown. Do you remember who taught you how to make it? Yeah, it was my mother and her, her mother taught her how uh, to make it. And of course, I mean, you know, we say it's from the north, but it could be any part of Italy. Food is, uh, food is indigenous to all parts of Italy. Italy needs the lemon, the oil, the chicken. They eat a lot of chicken in Italy, don't they? Yeah. So these are getting this really nice golden color around the edges, and that's what you really want to strive for. It's almost done. This is doing it just right. And these look like they are about ready to go. Yes. They're perfectly okay. golden. Here we go. I'm going to turn our heat off. Okay, good. We put it in this dish. And we have three slices. Uh, Rosella, what do you think this will feed? It's like two people. Two people. Yeah. One and a half people. Good. And we're ready to move on to the second part of this. You're almost done. Okay. Taking a nice size baking pan, and we're going to uh, butter it so that the uh, chicken won't stick. It's my favorite part of this. Just right. So you know. Right. Okay. And you have a perfect square of butter here. And we're using real butter. Real butter, but you could use cooking spray or something else just, right. to, just to lubricate the bottom. Right. But of course, butter gives that amazing flavor. Now we're going to put the, uh, the cutlets in and spread them out nicely. Okay. This is just so they have a nice surface right. to lay upon. Right. And now we're going to add, uh, let's not forget any of these ingredients. We're going to add the consomme, the chicken consomme. This is just a plain cup of chicken broth. And this is going to really soak into the chicken while we bake it. A little white wine. Chardonnay is fine. Sauvignon Blanc, which is, you can get it in, in a liquor store. So what's next? Let's get these two lemons, one at a time, cut them. I'm going to cut them and I am going to save a slice as a garnish from each one as a garnish for later. Right. Put this uh, with the parsley. You know, presentation is important too. You want it to look nice at the end. Well, you eat with your eyes first. <laughs> That's true. Very good. Okay. Now, Help me here we go. Bit. The Bobsy twins are squeezing lemons. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. All right. Now, uh, the last part of this is we're going to take the butter and the butter that we like. And we're going to. Just a little bit of extra. Right. And this in the oven is just going to melt right. we'll into our there. chicken. Okay, so what's next? The black pepper. Give a little. Twirl. Just a little bit on each one. Yeah, not too much. Okay. Um, and cover it with tin foil. This is ready to be covered. Yeah. 
There you go. That's it. Okay, very good. Now I'll do the honors. We're gonna put it in the oven. You tell us. We are gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. And about halfway through, you wanna take your foil off. This way all the liquids reduce into a nice thick sauce. So Nona, I will do the honors. Thank you very much. Here you go. I'm gonna pop that in there. Mmm, yum. That looks good. And of course, we have one all ready to go. And that smells amazing. It does. And I can't wait to taste this. Me neither. All right. And this looks so tender. I'm gonna try one. Mm. You believe me now? All right. I cannot wait. She's plating it. And I wanna get a little bit of the juice that we worked so hard on thickening up. Right, right. <clears throat> and of course, Garnish the lemon slice with those putting on a little parsley. Nice. And that's pretty as a picture. And we can try it. And look, you can cut it with a fork. Yeah, You're gonna yeah, have some. I will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you very much. This is a shame. You take time to cook, cook this, and then in two minutes it's gone. <laughs> I don't feel that bad. It's mm. delicious. It really is. Very good. In my own modesty. <laughs> you really should not be modest at all. You really taste all the flavors we put in here. We taste the lemon so much. The meat has just really absorbed everything. And thank you for teaching me how to make this. This is so quick and easy. Thank you for being my granddaughter for the day. You're so pretty. And so are you. And I always say it takes a pretty woman to tell another woman that she's pretty. And that's coming from none after many years of experience. Okay. Ciao. Ciao.